Hello people, former president of Nigeria, good luck Ebere Jonathan, don't scatter, if I, you don't shake table about Abado Master, where sending talks to go send Igbos out, out of pulling unit, I beg, where can I share this though, here waiting, he, he talk about those people, where they buy votes, where they sell votes. For us who are politicians, our conduct matters a lot, and I always tell politicians that, look, yes, you can win election through unorthodox means, just like using violence to win elections or buying votes and so on. But when you do that, you are being like an arm robber or a con man. Arm robber makes money through robbery, but everybody knows that it's an arm robber. A con man makes money through deceiving people, but everybody knows that it's a con man. They are not decent members of society. Politicians are supposed to be decent members of society, so we must conduct uh, we ask very credibly that both our supporters, our relatives, and so on, should know that politics is a clean business and allow people to vote who they want at any level of election. My plea is we, the politicians, the security people, the INEC operatives, should do the best for the country. The whole world is looking at us. So many senior global citizens are in Nigeria because of these elections. They want us to succeed and we must not fail. Yes, uh, the Bivar is improvement on the Carrida. And I believe it will be better than the Carrida. I don't think we are moving backward. We may still have some issues. It's technology. Even your, uh, your phone, you have problems with your phone. Even if you buy one of the best smartphones, sometimes you still have problems. So, I'm not expecting that your country, that the beaver machines will work perfectly, but it's a significant improvement. And at least uh, there's an attempt to improve on the methodology. The only thing I request from my neck is that in terms of distributing materials, this should improve on that. Because it appears they are using the same method to distribute materials. A place like Bayelsa State, when we have only 105 wards, in fact, by 8.30, it's before 8.30, uh, I've been observing elections in other countries. In most cases, everybody will be ready 30 minutes before the voting time. Everybody will be ready, including the voters who vote. Everybody will queue waiting just for that time based on the law. So, but here, to 12 before we vote, that is not acceptable. We've all said so. I remember some three days ago, during the uh, National Peace uh, uh, I called uh, where the candidates and the parties signed uh, uh, the commitment for peaceful elections. I would have been there physically, but I was in Bamako and I was a bit trapped. But my speech was read by Bishop Kuka, and all of us advised in the same way that look, elections must be peaceful, and that politicians should know that they don't own this country, and nobody's political ambition is so what the blood of any Nigerian. Not at all. People should not begin to think, oh, I have money, I'm contesting as governor, I'm contesting as senator, I'm contesting as president, so people will die because you want to be president or you want to be governor. No. It's totally unacceptable. And we must imbibe that. You'll be a president. Look, after I was a deputy governor from deputy to president, that is eight years in Agua here, another eight years in Abuja, but I'm back. I see. An ordinary citizen. So you will uh, you will leave that office. So you uh, struggle to get there. Your contestation for the position you want should not diminish us as a human race. It should rather improve us as a human race if you mean well for us.